Hi guys, welcome back to Ethereal Orb. I am Megan, um, and I did a video the other day with using bubble wrap, um, and I had quite a few requests and comments wanting to see um, some different things with bubble wrap, um, particularly swiping. Um, it was one of the requests I had um, over and over. The one I did the other day, I just kind of pressed and lift, lifted. So I have a couple pieces here that I've cut out. Um, I got a whole bunch in one of my paint shipments, or canvas, I guess it was my canvases from Michael's. Um, they were all wrapped in bubble wrap, so I have plenty to do lots of testing with. So um, I have a little 8x10 canvas, and I figured I'd swipe long way just to give it a good, um, a nice good long test. And I just pulled out some colors from my um, pre-mixed bin but I have a bunch of just, you know, leftovers. Um, so I'm just going to kind of use this and that. And then I have um, some silver that I used the other day in a swirl. And since I used it in a swirl, it's a little bit thicker. And um, there's no silicone or anything in it. So I'm going to use this as my swipe color. Um, the rest of these, some of them I have written on the cup when I'm really good. This one is Tropical Orange Arrow. Apple Barrel with Floetrol and um, Matte Medium, so that one doesn't have any silicone. This one's not written on. See, every now and then I'm really, really good. This has, oh, that's Titanium White, so I didn't erase it and re... Yeah, sometimes I'm good. As you can see, most of the time I'm not. There's not very much in there. Okay, and I have some Payne's Gray. This has Dimethicone, so that has um, some hair serum in it. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of randomly do this. I don't have a plan. Um, I don't really thought through what I want it to look like or anything, so I'm just testing out the bubble wrap. So we'll just kind of pour hither and thither. <clears throat> if we want to get all Shakespearean. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start out with purple because it's my favorite color. And I have not opened these to mix them around. Maybe I should have. Um, oh look, I have sticks stuck together. I'm not going to worry too much because most of these have been um, mixed. I'm going to add a little bit of water to that and I'll get a real stir stick. I could just feel when it was swirling that it needed a little bit. Sorry, yeah, but I guess I should have tested these out, but usually they stay. There we go. Usually they stay pretty good in the cups. Okay. So we're just going to start out with purple, only because it's my favorite, and I don't have a plan here. As I said, this is just, oops, I don't want to put that on my bubble wrap, though. <clears throat> put some of this teal color. Okay. Then some of this. This is vanilla. Now when I used this in a pour, it took over. I mean, really took over. Made everything just really blah and boring. So I don't want to use a ton of that. But a little bit. It's that tropic orange color. Okay, let's see. I might use, let's use a dark I have a little canvas panel, a little square canvas panel that I um, swiped with silver and it's just a little one. I keep it on my nightstand because I really, really like it. I love little canvas panels for that. They're good for testing things, um, but I also love just having them, I'm not going to use that, sit around in places because they're so small you can put them everywhere. And I love having paintings everywhere just sitting around looking pretty okay that's it this is doing double duty tonight because I'm getting rid of some of these um, cups I can let the little bit that's left in there dry and then peel it out and have more cups for mixing this is a pretty metallic That was a mixture of metallic white and another color, but I could be wrong. Alright. Let's 
see. We need more purple, don't we? Always need more purple. Might use more of that vanilla too. Just because. Just because. And where's that dark teal? I think I have more of that. Do I have more of this light teal? Let's do the light teal. That'll do it for that one. Okay. So, should I put a little bit up here? I think I should. Just because that, maybe don't want my um, stripe of silver to be quite that wide. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to find places to put these where they can sit overnight and dry. Or, you know, more, more than overnight, but sit and dry so I can peel the paint out of them. Cover the ones that still have some paint in there so I don't get weird drops of random colors in there. I've done that before. Okay. There we go. And here is my silver. Nice amount of silver there. I may add just a little bit down here, just in case it doesn't carry through. Just we have a little some patches of silver. Um, I'll see how this does. Oops, I got some on the edge. Okay, where's my straight edge? Here's my straight edge. I don't need it that long. I'm gonna. Sorry to be cutting on camera or off camera. I guess I am, but I don't need it quite that long. So I'm just gonna cut it. A strip a bit thinner. I just want one edge to be nice and straight. All right, move my scissors. And here we go. It feels like it's sitting heavy on that paint. Um, compared to like, um, let's go a little crooked. Um, you know, like cardstock or something that I can control a little bit more. And I think it took off more paint than what I normally have when I swipe. I may need to swipe back a little bit. Let's torch it, see what happens, and maybe I'll swipe back this way or tilt because there's, you know, the silver went a little further than I expected. Like I said, it was really, the bubble wrap was heavier than I thought it would be. I mean, it laid really heavy on top. Let's just tilt a bit because some details are showing. There we go. Take that back almost to the edge. And we'll leave just a little bit. Let's take this one all the way to the edge and then we'll just leave this corner. Kind of silvery. Yeah. No, now this corner's lonely. We'll see how wonky some of the cells get. We don't want wonky cells. Okay, there we go. You got a little bit wonky right in there, but that's okay. Maybe right here got a little muddy. If I would have been looking right here, I probably would have stopped a little sooner. Let's go back this way. I love that purple coming through. So, it worked. I don't know that it's any better or any worse. It, it dragged heavier through the paint, so I don't know if it it showed a bit more. I was paying so close attention to what I was doing um, that I wasn't really watching as much. So maybe those of you watching the video <laughs> can pay closer attention to the behind the bubble wrap and I'll definitely rewatch that again and see um, because it did drag heavier. Maybe it pulled more of the colors up from the bottom. Um, I don't know. Let's do some close-ups though real quick. I guess I should have paused my video for that. Here we go. Those purple cells. Oh, 
purple against that silver. How pretty is that? Okay, so I have a problem with purple. That's okay. Um, but all in all, I think this one was a, a success. I think it made some really neat patterns in the paint. So, there you go. You can give it a go if you like. If you do, if you try it or have tried it, let me know how it goes. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see what videos I have coming up. Hit the little bell to get notifications. And as always, guys, happy pouring.